Winters in New England are notoriously harsh, especially for someone like Elmer Alvarez, who was homeless. The freezing winds and snow posed greater risks to him than to those with heated homes, cars, and offices. Despite his challenges, Elmer was no stranger to the tough winters in New Haven. Elmer had faced tougher times in the past, struggling with drug addiction. However, he managed to overcome his addictions by attending Narcotics Anonymous, NA meetings, a significant achievement considering his circumstances. Despite this, finding a way out of homelessness remained a constant challenge. One chilly November morning, while walking the familiar streets, Elmer stumbled upon an opportunity. He noticed a piece of paper lying in his path, something most people would have ignored. However, Elmer stopped and picked up the forgotten note, intrigued by its contents. It wasn't a discarded receipt or a piece of trash. It was a freshly signed check. Elmer was stunned when he saw the amount written on it, $10 thousand. With the check endorsed and ready to be cashed, Elmer could have completely transformed his life with that kind of money. Despite the temptation, the thought of keeping the money never crossed Elmer's mind. Instead, he noticed a phone number listed on the back of the check. Determined to do the right thing, Elmer set out to find a friend with a cell phone to make the call. Meanwhile, a few blocks away, Robert Ahosky, a successful businesswoman and CEO of Outreach Realty Services and Outreach School of Real Estate, heard her phone ring. It was Elmer's friend, explaining that his friend had found her check and wanted to return it. Roberto was shocked and grateful. She rifled through her bag, unable to believe she had lost something so important. Realizing he was right, she agreed to meet Elmer immediately. She spotted Elmer and his friend and couldn't thank them enough for doing the right thing. With Elmer too polite to draw attention to himself, his friend let Roberta know that her savior was, in fact, homeless. This struck a chord with Roberta on a personal level, making the events all the more meaningful. Before she became a high-powered real estate queen, Roberta faced similar obstacles to Elmer's. At 17 years old and pregnant, Roberta had to drop out of school to care for her child. Facing financial difficulties, she and her child had no choice but to enter housing shelters to avoid living on the streets. However, a crucial internship at Yale University changed her life, lifting her out of poverty. Despite her success, she never forgot her time in the shelters and knew her encounter with Elmer was not a coincidence. Resolved to pay it forward, Roberta hurried back to her office to get her checkbook. She wanted to do more for Elmer than just give him temporary reprieve. Roberta decided, I'm going to teach him how to fish. Returning to the street, she handed Elmer a check, and he burst into grateful tears. The pair hugged, and Roberta shared her own story with him. Elmer couldn't believe just how much they had in common. Their newfound connection fresh in their hearts, they parted ways. However, when Elmer went to cash his check, the bank refused to help him despite having a signature and his ID. This prejudice brought them back together sooner than Roberta expected. The bank suspected it was fraudulent, simply because Elmer didn't fit their typical customer profile. A quick call to Roberta eased their unwarranted suspicion about the homeless man. Two weeks later, Roberta arranged a meeting with Elmer. When Elmer walked in the door, he was greeted with applause by a packed room. He was completely overwhelmed, not expecting such a reception. To his surprise, Elmer was presented with a thank you certificate from Miss Millionaire Mindset, an organization aimed at combating poverty. Then, Roberta revealed her true plan to teach Elmer to fish. Instead of just rewarding him for his kindness and honesty, she intended to empower him for success. Before starting classes, Elmer would receive English language improvement lessons. But Roberta had an even bigger surprise in store. With emotion in her voice, she explained the best part of her plan. She had found him a place to live, an apartment he could share with his girlfriend, with the first six months of rent and bills fully covered.